Well good afternoon and welcome once again to Enzo Orchids. Now uh, I have much to show you today. I mean I could uh, I could pick a plant up and talk about it and unpot it and have a look at it but I'm not going to do that. I've been too busy today. In fact what I've been doing I've been power washing and I've power washed all the greenhouse floor. Look at that. So everything's nice and clean now. So things are looking nice. And I've just done some watering. I've watered about 50 plants and uh, I've started using that rain rain mix. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we've got a couple of cattleyas here. We'll have a look at them. This is the Cattleya Dawiana Aurea. As I said before, not good on the roots yet, but some just coming and uh, a nice growth there. So uh, quite pleased with that one. Now this is a little uh, Dendrobium Cuthbert Sonii that uh, came off another piece and uh, I put it on the mount and uh, there's a little root growing there and there's a new growth there. And this gets watered every single day. I don't know whether it'll live or not but uh, there's always hope where there's a bit of life. Uh, this is the Cattleya Haesong Tian Mu that was growing sideways and the, uh, the new growth is still growing. Got a little mark on the leaf there but uh, we'll get rid of that shortly. So I'm quite pleased with everything. Cattleya Haesong Tian Mu. And I do like these little mounts made out of cork. Uh, the court, you can get the round pieces, just sort them down the middle and then halve them like that. And they stand up beautifully and make lovely mounts. Oh, and another thing I got, I put these up, these fly catchers. I put one up yesterday, I think I put uh, another four up today. But this is the one I put up yesterday. That. That's one side. I think I've got more on the other side. Yep. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. And I just wonder if they'll, uh, they'll catch thrips. Oh, we'll see. I'll just, just have a look at a few plants. This is the uh, Dracula Solii that's putting up some nice new growth there. This is just in, in that red type of moss I got off uh, eBay and it seems to be doing fine. Keeps nice and moist all the time. And uh, I've hung the Dracula right up here. So it gets the draft from that fan up there. The, sim the Cymbidium is continuing to grow and it won't be long before it flowers. Uh, here if we can see it. There we are. Nice clutch of buds on there. I don't know what they are like they open but there must be at least, uh, at least seven or eight on there. So we'll just see what it's like when it opens and uh, hope they're, they're nice blooms. Uh, we'll just have a look around now and uh, finish up there. We've got a uh, plant here. What is this one? Oh, it's the uh, oh, Goldiana. Got a nice new growth on there. This is the uh, Epidendrum ciliae that I nearly threw away, but that's got a nice new growth on it now. Uh, this is the top half of a Vecchiana. And a very big plant. But it's just the top half and there's the leaf that's come through there. Uh, at the back there we've got the usual uh, sesquipedale. More cymbidiums here. New growth coming up on that one. Bunch of nice growths coming up on them. So I'm not quite uh, bothered about these. 
the uh, Adonta Glossum there at the back with a nice new growth on and the uh, Dendrobium Nobbly. It's not looking like any signs of flowering yet. I'll just lift it up and have a look. It's growing like mad. I'm watering it well, I'm feeding it well. And it's put these five new growths up here and there's at least another two or three there at the bottom coming up. So uh, I'm expecting something to happen to that shortly. Because the blooms on it are gorgeous. Now this is one of my new Phalaenopsis. It's the uh, Phalaenopsis Zeng Min Pixels selection. And it's just going over. But I've been told not to cut the Let's find a label to get in. Not to cut the uh, the flowers off because they can flower again from the same spike. So I'm going to leave that on and see what happens. The cat layers are still coming along, but uh, that's the uh, golf green that's not doing much. Uh, that's the Lelia perine, which has got a, a sheath on that's not growing very quickly. And I think this one is the pink empress. And that's got a nice sheath on there. King of Taiwan. Sheath still empty. Another hair song Tian Mu with the sheath on that's still empty. But uh, I'm hoping they'll fill up in a bit. This is the uh, buds of the uh, big flowers, these. The Phragmopedium Lasverinus. There's a nice bud there and then another one in there. And they look beautiful when they come out. Uh, but uh, it's taking its time to open. I thought they'd open a little bit quicker at this time of year, and especially with us having warm weather. Then we've got uh, two flowers on the Andy of Fire looking very nicely. I didn't think they'd do much these, but. Uh, you know, we're having such a thin, thin spike on it. But it's put two nice flowers up. And they last quite a long time. They last at least five or six weeks. This is Mazzavelli Egnia. This has got a couple of spikes on it. One's very small in the middle there, but the other one's grown and getting ready to flower. Mazzavelli Egnia. Then we've got the uh, Mazzavelia Vecciano with two spikes on. Quite pleased about these, doing very, very well. Beautiful flowers when they come up, a glorious sort of uh, orange and red. This is the uh, Mazzavelia I've just got, the Auburn Hero. That's settling in quite nice. This is the uh, Orangus Mr. Cedar. Hasn't opened any buds yet, but I think it's got about, I think I've counted, 38 buds on it. So uh, that should be nice when it does open. Orangus Mr. Cedar. Then we'll just have a quick look at the frags. This is the uh, uh, Robert Yanquenny. Just one spike on it there. This is the, this is doing very well, the Ruber Slippers. Got plenty of growth on that one. Uh, that's a Paphia Pedlum, which is coming into flower. This one is another uh, Las Verinas. That's going to send a spike up. Another one there that's going to spend a spike up, but uh, I've lost the label, I don't know what it is. So we'll just finish up having a look at these uh, these grandies. Absolutely lovely, aren't they? This has got two open flowers on now and another bud coming there. 
and the other plant has just dropped two flowers off but it's got another one there and the new bud there and uh, another spike here with the flower just opening and some more buds on top there and as you can see when they drop off they drop off in full flower and all Phragmopediums do that they don't wither, they don't die they just drop off in full bloom so that's about all I can do for you today uh, I've been so busy I'll carry on doing some spots of cleaning and uh, I'm spring cleaning when winter's starting I should do this after winter but uh, It'll be nice in winter to come in here and it's nice and clean. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. I see they're click climbing up a little bit, but slowly. Uh, so until next time, as I said, thanks again and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.